Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are doing a reroll guide for Black Clover Mobile. Now, this is in pre-registration for global release, which we're anticipating to launch in June. This is on the Korean version, which is already launched. JP is already launched as well. And if you do want to play these foreign versions, you can get them on QApp. All you have to do is install QApp onto your Android or to your emulator, and then search for Black Clover Mobile and or Rise of the Wizard King, however you want to search for it. And then I choose the Korean version because it gets everything a little bit earlier. Uh, otherwise, you can play on the JP version if you know some J Japanese. Um, and that's what you're doing. Then you just install it. You might have to allow your device to install from unknown sources and stuff like that um, because it is a third-party app, Q app. Uh, and then you're good to go. You can install it and you're good. Now, the one catch is you do have to have a VPN on for this game. So I've got my VPN sent to Seoul in South Korea, and that is working fine for me. Unfortunately, it seems some things in the game I can turn it off but other things like if it tries to process it will just crash so I just leave my VPN on permanently while I am playing the game now with your VPN you can have it on specifically uh, on the emulator that you're playing it on or you can have it on on your PC the other thing you can do is sometimes what I do is I turn the VPN on on my phone and then just hotspot to my phone to get into it and go from there so those are the options you can do to get your VPN active but and that comes getting into the game. Let's go into the reroll. Now, reroll process is about 10 minutes. It's really quick, really easy. There's an Epic 7 type multi summon that you can do where you get 20 chances at a temple. You can save your favorite one along the way, and then you can choose whether you, which one you want uh, when you're done. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you the list at the end to choose from. You've got to choose your favorite after every pull and save it as your favorite and then go on to the next one. You'll see when we get into the summons. It's got that. It also has multiple banners with multiple summons. Not too sure exactly how many summons we'll have at Global, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. As for characters to reroll for, I only had the game for a couple hours, so I'm not going to tell you who I think. Uh, I played a ton of the beta, but the characters have changed a lot since then, so I'm not willing to go into that. But we can go through the general reroll process. Now, thankfully, like I said, it's a very simple process. You're going to log in as a guest. Got to love it when games have guest login. And they also have delete data on the account button, which I'll show you at the end, where you can just delete the data on your account and you can roll through again. It's super simple. It's been a while since I've played a game with a real solid reroll system, but this game does have us covered. So like I said, you're going to log in as a guest. We'll just click that. You hit accept. I... Uh, I've already played through, but it sometimes may make you accept all the terms and conditions and all that stuff uh, and go through. Then we're going to jump in and then it loads up and then it's going to start putting us through, you know, the basic tutorial. Now you have skip buttons in here as well. There is some little, cin like um, I call them cinematics that you get while you're playing through the tutorial phase. And a lot of them have skip at the top right. Some of them do not when you get into the battle phase, like the first battle phase that you do. As you can see, this one has skip. You just go skip confirm. If they don't have the skip button down the bottom, it'll have like a progress bar and you can just drag it and slide it all the way to the right and you'll be all done. But like I said, on your emulator, you can set, set up your key binds and stuff like that and away you go. It is very, very basic to work your way through this tutorial type phase. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip and come back. It goes through basic stuff. You know, if you're lost, you press this button. It's, it's, super easy um, and you'll get through this whole process like I said in about less than 10 minutes so I'm just going to cut it'll go through combat it's all basic stuff you can, you literally cannot fall off the rails so I'll be back once we get through all this stuff Okay, so after following through the basic tutorial, you can't miss it. And worst case, if you get lost, you hit this, this little thing up the top here um, and, and it just auto piles you to the quest. So you'll get to this stage here and then this is the point at which you will unlock the summons. So now we'll jump in and check out the summons. As for recommendations on who to, who to pull for, like I said, I'm not going to recommend anything. I've had the game for like a couple hours, so it's changed a ton since the beta. So I'm not willing to make that call. I will make a video on that closer to global. But let's jump in. So we get this tutorial summon here. This is the first thing we do. Now, this is one of those multi summons, kind of like what Epic 7 did, where you're guaranteed to get one, but you can actually, as you see there, get two. However, you can get even more than that SSRs. However, I've only ever seen one character pulled out of this, but you can get multiple books out of it. So that's the thing to consider. So as you can see here, um, we got... 
we got one book there and we got one character. Now from here, you can go here. This is your presets on your saves. So your first one is going to be like your preset save. Now you can click this left button to keep it or you get 20 rolls like the Epic 7 sort of style over here. So if you, the other thing you can do, which is what I like, is you can hit, my head's covering it, but you can hit this back button and it'll bring you back over here to the banners, you can collect your mail and do all those summons first. Just as you get my dog to stop barking. So you can claim all these rewards here. Yoink, yoink. For some reason at the moment on the, K, uh, on the KR version, I can't use the collect all button. Now I don't collect this one because it's got stamina and I, you know, you're just overcapping stamina at that point. Um, but I mean, you can collect these if you want to as well. And then we can go in and we can do our rerolls. Now you've got a bunch of different banners here. We've got the seasonal banner, which you can work towards one of these characters, um, but you can go ahead and summon for one of those, or you can summon for this Yami, or you can summon for Fuegoleon. So uh, completely up to you guys. I like the look of this. I, I'm, I'm just a Yami fan. I want to get both Yamis. So uh, I'm just going to do this. Like I said, I, meta, th th it's a while off. It's way too early for anyone to make a call on that. So we go into this summon animation. You want him to open his eye and like make a winky sort of thing because then you know you got one. Unfortunately, we didn't get one there. Do we get the rank up? We don't get the rank up. So that's a bad pull. Let's go again. One more. Yoink. So here we go. And you can do all these pulls. Once again, okay, we got one there. Not too bad. Do we get a second? Do we get a second? No, we do not. All right, let's see who it is. Okay, it's going to be a book and we get the Yami one. Okay, there we go. Let's do one more. And what do we get? Any upgrades? Honestly, pretty average rolls from that. So then once you do those, like I said, you can do it in any order that you want, uh, but then you can always go back to this one and you can jump into these summons and you can keep rolling. So from here, this one is currently my saved option. I can roll again, do this, quickly skip through, see if we get any bonus upgrades. No, we don't. Okay, yada, yada, yada. Let's go through that, see who we get. And then what you can do is, okay, we can bounce out. And then what you can do is if this is the one you now like the most, you click on this thing and you select it and you just hit that. And then that is my new saved one. As you can see, it's the current one and it's saved. And then we can keep summoning and that is the saved one. Unfortunately, you can't go back to the others. So you're always choosing between what your favorite one is so far and what the next one you pull is. So say this one's one that I don't like, and then I just keep going on to the next summon and keep continuing on and not stress about it and just keep going to the next summon. So that is pretty much it. Then once again, you hit this one to select. Now this, when you click this, you can choose your saved one or the one you just got. Just be careful if you've got one saved, don't just click it and then click the, the, the orange button. You've got to click across to it. So if, if I just clicked it here, like once again, if I just went accept it, it default accepts the last one I did, not my saved one. So you've got to click back to the saved one and then accept that if that is what you want. Now, at the end of the day, if that is not the reroll that you were hoping for, you didn't get the characters, you didn't get what you wanted, then we're just going to go over here into settings and we're going to go to the bottom tab over here, which is account. And obviously we've logged in as guests. So this bottom one down here, the very bottom, we can click that. We click, we click on it and we type in the black clover. I'm assuming it's case sensitive as well. Uh, and you just type in that black clover, you click that. Uh, and then it goes, okay. And it's going to take you back to the loading screen. Now, unfortunately you have to have your VPN on for this whole process. Uh, I just connect the VPN to South Korea and I'm fine to Seoul. And that is it. Now, the next stage we do, we're just going to log in as guest and repeat the entire process once again. So like I said, it's a pretty simple reroll method. The actual time it takes to get from logging in to the actual summons is probably somewhere around... 10-ish minutes. I didn't actually time it, but it's really not that long. You get a few decent pulls. Now, you can use more gems on pulls as well in your reroll if you want to. That was just for demonstration's sake. Obviously, we don't know with global exactly what rewards we'll have, how many pulls we'll get, but I will definitely update this for global and also talk about characters to pull when we get closer to global. Like I said, I have my thoughts so far. Um, I played a ton of the beta, but like I said, everything has changed since then, and I've only had like two hours of looking at characters and reading skills. So it's just, I just feel like it's too early days 
ways to recommend characters to you guys. I just make, recommend pulling for the ones you like and we'll figure it out as we go. After a week passes, once we work out a rough meta, then maybe you re-roll and, and play again. But at the moment, I'm just going to play through an account, uh, try and learn as much as I can and uh, get ready for global launch, obviously. But that is going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.